Hi everyone, I'm Luki, a queer catalyst and founder of Focus Inspired, and welcome to the Queer Q&A series. Today's question is, what exactly is non-negotiable time? For those of you who've been following me, you probably have heard me reference non-negotiable time on many occasions, and I wanted to define it. So, non-negotiable time is time allocated weekly, ideally daily, to do what's important and not urgent. Right? It's that to-do list that you said, ah, I should read that book, I should sign up for that course, I should research this, I should reconnect for that person, and you say, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it later, and unfortunately it never gets done. So one of the key qualifiers of what goes into that non-negotiable time is it's not urgent. So if there's a deadline, then it doesn't count. So if someone gave you a deadline, it's a report or it's something where someone needs it, then it doesn't count as non-negotiable time. You can put your own deadline on it, but it doesn't have an external one where someone's counting on you. The second one is that it's important. It's meaningful. It's something that you want to do. It's something that it will help you in terms of your personal or professional development and something that uh, you, you know will have benefit to you in the long run, right? Um, so those are the types of things that go in your non-negotiable times. But in terms of the non-negotiable time itself, uh, one of the things is when you allocate that half an hour a day, that hour a day, or those couple of hours a week, whatever time you can manage, is you don't move it, right? You don't delete it unless there are emergencies. So imagine you have a meeting with a very important person. If you had a meeting with Oprah, <laughs> with Jeff Bezos, with Elon Musk, one of those folks, what's the likelihood you say, oh, actually, could we move that because uh, someone's coming in to uh, repair my furnace or whatever? Well, no, you'd probably meet that and, and balance all your other commitments around it, right? So that commitment, that non-negotiable time is something that's important to you. It's a meeting with the most important person yourself, right? The CEO of your life. And by creating that non-negotiable time, it's enacting what they often tell you on airplanes to, to put your mask on first, right? So take care of yourself first, and then everything else will get better later, right? So what I typically recommend folks to do is grab 30 minutes in the morning. So right after you wake up, after you do your business in the bathroom and are ready to go, uh, spend your 30 minutes. Maybe it's implementing that new routine. It's doing all those things that you coulda, shoulda, woulda done. And just half an hour a day can amount to so much additional value. So if you think about it, uh, if you did half an hour a day, uh, 365 days, that is roughly 180 hours, right? A work month is about 160 hours. So you're working an additional 13 versus 12 hours. So how much, uh, sorry, that's months. So how much more uh, productive would you be during the year? So thinking about that and whenever it is, early in the morning, evenings, or a break at lunch, whatever it takes to get it to work. But the point is you're doing those things that are important, but not urgent. Uh, so that's it for me for this episode. And please comment with any questions you'd like me to address in future episodes. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel as we'll be posting new content every Tuesday and follow us on our social media to be updated at future events and workshops. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next episode.